We want to bring our viewers up to date and show you exactly what happened overnight as best as we can depict it for you. This is an incident that occurred in Atlanta Centennial Olympic Park about 1.20 this morning. A tourist, Robert G. of San Francisco, the San Francisco Bay Area, was in the park at the time when an explosion took place very close to a stage where entertainment was going on. Let's look. That videotape was shot by San Francisco tourist Robert G, who joins us now in the studio. Mr. G, can you tell us what you were doing in the park at that time and what took place? We were just wandering around the park listening to the concert at that time. I'm in the middle of a crowd and I was filming the crowd to watch people dancing and the interactions, things like that. Um, it just caught us all by surprise, I think. In that moment before, was there any warning to you? Did you hear anybody saying clear the area? We saw a few policemen run by us, um, pulling along a, uh, um, a plastic garbage can on wheels. Um, I really didn't think anything of it at the time, perhaps garbage detail, perhaps uh, you know, uh, settling an incident that occurred among the crowd or something. Our viewers just saw again that explosion on the videotape that you shot early this morning. When you first heard that blast, did you realize what had happened? Not in the first half second. I mean, the first thing is uh, pyrotechnics, okay? The second thing is that's too big to be pyrotechnics, and I think that's when everyone's jaw just dropped and we all just started looking around to figure out what to do next. I guess I might have expected that more people would be running immediately afterwards, but it took a moment for people to realize. Right, and nobody ever really ran that much. It was, it was more like a, a school exit for a fire drill. It, it, people were very orderly, they're all moving away. There were a few people that tried to run up and take pictures. Uh, you and your wife were not injured in this? No, we were fortunately very far away from this. So. Can you tell me um, the level of explosion? I don't know how far away you were. I can't really tell by that videotape. My estimation is 100, 150 yards away. Um, uh, the level of the explosion was like an earthquake. The ground just shook once, just an incredible pounding. Did you feel it internally? I mean, could you, were you rattled physically by it? Yes, yes. It just felt like the ground itself just kind of moved up and down slightly. And then what happened afterwards? Um, after that, uh, once we realized what was going on, um, uh, we pretty much just stayed where we were. I think a lot of us did. Um, more and more people started just making the way to the exit away from uh, the center of the blast there. Um, like I said, a few people started running up with the cameras and all that, but uh, the policemen came in very shortly after that um, and uh, started uh, blockading the area in, in an ever-widening circle. Talk to me about what goes through your own mind as you feel something like this, as you realize you are now just a part of the news. Hysterical, upset, angry, what? I think the first thing is just logic. You run into this and it's like, my God, this has happened. What do we do next? Is there going to be more danger? Do we have to run a certain direction? Is it best to stay where we are and not get trampled? Fortunately, I think everyone kept their mind and walked away and saw there were fewer accidents just from the, the evacuation. As a tourist visiting that area, were you surprised before this happened? Were you surprised at the level of security in the park? Did you feel that you were able to walk maybe too freely? Um, I don't think so. Uh, a lot of times our bags are being searched as we walked into venues. Uh, for the park here, they were checking just for basically beverages, things like that. Uh, they weren't searching bags at the time, but really, there were so many people going in and out of the park, I don't think it would have been viable. Robert G., we thank you for joining us this morning. We'll ask you to stand by so we can talk to you further throughout this morning. Of course, our viewers seeing the videotape that you shot, getting a better understanding as investigators are trying to this morning about exactly what happened and why. Miles?